It's important to be humble um, and, and know that you don't have all the answers and, and you don't know everything. Um, and collectively, um, you know, people know a lot more than you know all by yourself. My first job out of college um, was in education. <clears throat> I worked in education for about four years. Um, and I enjoyed the classroom, but most of all, I enjoyed um, the coaching aspect. I had coached three seasons um, you know, while I was at the school. Um, and it was really there uh, on the field or, or in the practice room where I really felt a connection with the kids. And it's really there um, where I felt the greatest, where I could make the greatest impact um, on, the, on the lives of these children. I didn't necessarily want to be stuck behind a desk for the next 30 years. Um, I wanted to be out and about, and I wanted to be moving around um, and, and sort of helping people, um, in particular um, you know, young adults, um, to sort of reach their full potential. I um, heard about a position at the Berkeley Heights YMCA as a program director. Um, thought it would be uh, a good opportunity for me. I wanted an opportunity to, to be out more in the community and, and sort of helping kids, um, young adults, um, in a less structured, um, more fun type of uh, atmosphere um, where I, again, you know, from my coaching experience is where I felt that um, you know, I could make the greatest impact. And being a program director, um, no day is the same. Um, every day for me is a little bit different, but there are some sort of common threads and, and, and uh, you know, things that, that sort of occur every day. I get to work, um, I answer about 30 emails. <laughs> um, after that, um, you know, I'll, I'll go around and, and sort of walk around, um, meet with my staff that are there. Um, I try to engage my staff every day in some sort of conversation. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy sort of you know, helping them, talking to them, being there for them, because ultimately they're the ones who are going to be there for um, you know, the youth that, that take part in my programs. I end up doing you know, a considerable amount of sort of administrative work um, sort of throughout the day. In the um, afternoon time, um, that's when things really start to sort of uh, pick up for me. Um, there's multiple programs um, that I'm sort of responsible for. Uh, so in any given day, um, you know, I could be focusing on one program or the other program. I'm responsible for a number of programs, um, sort of all of our youth classes. Um, that could be anything from a Mommy and Me art class to sort of a high school level fencing class and everything in between. That transition time where I can really help mold them and, and and help give them advice and direction um, and to see them go from a sort of immature, less responsible individual <clears throat> and see them become a more responsible person, um, a person who is civic minded, uh, engaged in the community um, and, and who, who just makes overall just makes the right choices. Um, you know, th that is what gets me going. Um, being able to, to help someone in that role um, is, is, is exactly what is exactly what I live for. If an opportunity presents itself in a different department, um, in a different sort of area or aspect of the why, um, maybe even within your own department, um, you know, seize those opportunities. Um, take the initiative to talk to your supervisor and say, this sounds like a really great program. I would like to be more involved, um, e even if it's not in your department. You talk to your supervisor and hopefully your supervisor will have your best interests at heart. Um, I know I would.